Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about structure decks, their role in the TCG, some of the biggest strengths of structure decks, and what I think the missed opportunities that Konami has been missing for the last year and a bit with structure decks. So take a seat and let's go. Remember, if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment telling me what you think of my take on structure decks, and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! updates. So talking about structure decks, right? Structure decks are one of the key components to this game, particularly for new players, which as we all know, Yu-Gi-Oh! has a problem with attracting new players. Right? And I think a big part of this comes down to structure decks and the way the meta happens, right? Now I know competitively at the top tier of meta, you are going to be seeing a lot of the same decks. But I remember a couple of years ago when actually quite a few decks came out from structure decks that were competitively viable. Look at Dinos, Salads, Shadals, even Pendulums, the order of the spellcasters structure deck was really not that bad. But in the last year and a bit, since the Shadal structure deck, we've gotten some really subpar decks. And I think for new players, that's particularly a problem because that is the point of entry into this game for a new player. If you're a new player and you don't already have a big community to go into where you can get deck cores and things like that, your first point of call is probably going to be a game store or, you know, some big supermarket chain where you can pick up a structure deck. And there, that's going to be your product, that's going to be your deck. And if you then take that to a locals and even if you bought three of it and it's completely useless, there's no cohesive strategy and there's no win con, What's the point? No one's going to want to play those. And no one's going to get into the game if they can't find a way in. For example, I started playing again back in 2018. Now I started off playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2003, you know, but then I took a hiatus around 2012, 2013, somewhere into the mid synchro era, although I did keep up to date with the game up till about XCs. But after that, Pendulums and Links, I had no idea. So I came back in 2018 because a friend of mine came up one day and said, hey, I bought a Lay of Darkness structure deck, you want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! And I didn't have a deck. So I went and I bought, you know, the Ancient Gear structure deck, and it's still a deck I have with me today, and I love it. I don't play it that often, but it's one of my favorite decks. Right? Now, competitively, wasn't great. To get the cards for it, required, you know, buying some Ancient Millennium and stuff like that to get the Ancient Gear fusions and that kind of thing. But the structure deck was what got me back into it, because I started researching what structure decks were available and what I wanted to play. Originally, I wanted to play Cyber Dragons, but finding that deck was kind of impossible at the time, so... I settled for Ancient Gears and I was happy for it. Now, we had Layer of Darkness, we had Ancient Gears, and then a third friend bought three of the Dino Smashers Fury deck. Admittedly, he made the smartest choice of all three of us, but you know, that was, we didn't know at the time. The point being, what got us back into the game was the sealed product that we could immediately take out of the box and play with. Even though we had no idea what was going on in the meta at the time, didn't actually know the new rules about pendulums and links and that kind of stuff, and weren't really connected to our locals. But as we got back into the game just playing amongst ourselves, we decided to find locals, get back into it, and from there we got back into the game. Again, point of entry being structured. You know, from Dino Smashers, even Ancient Gears, you know, at the time, Cyber Dragons, those decks were actually pretty good, right? They had you know, semi-viable strategies. Maybe not the Cyber Dragon one as much because you needed infinity and didn't come in the deck, but you know what I mean, right? For the time, it wasn't too bad. But since the Shadal structure deck at the beginning of last year, we've had some really subpar decks. We've had Machina, which did absolutely nothing. Sacred Beast, which did absolutely nothing. Spirit Charmers, which did less than nothing. Freezing Chains, the less said about it, the better. And now we had the Obelisk and the Slifer decks, right? which to be honest, beyond their collectible value and the Hobby's Feather Dust inside, have zero competitive value at all. Right? And that's kind of a problem because getting new players into the game, if they don't know people that play Yu-Gi-Oh! and they just want to get into the game and they are buying physical product, they're going to be buying structure decks. They're going to get so disillusioned that they're going to stop playing. We have the Cyber Strike deck that's still coming out later this year, and I'm really hoping that turns out good because supposedly Imperm and Lightning Storm are coming in the OCG one. Don't really know what's coming in the TCG one. I suspect we'll get Imperm, I doubt we'll get Lightning Storm. I sincerely hope we don't get Raigeki again. Please, I've got nine Raigekis, I don't need another copy. But moving on, right? The Cyber Strike structure deck seems to be, at this point, the highlight of the year. But. We must start on the Dragoonity one because they wanted to put that in Ghosts from the Past. 
please make the cyber strike structure deck good. We need new players entering this game. Master Duels is gonna be a great new platform where people can actually engage with the decks without having to, you know, fork over a lot of cash. But again, the point of entry for kids and for new players is asking their parents, if you're a kid, to buy them a structure deck, right? Or asking, or deciding as an adult, okay, I'm gonna buy one copy of this deck or three copies of this deck and we'll see what I can do from there. Right? They may not do really well, but remember, you could have bought three copies of a Shadal deck, done pretty well. Three copies of a Salad deck, you'd do okay. Three copies of a Dino deck, you'd do pretty well. You know, you wouldn't have much of a problem. But nowadays, for the, since the Shadal deck, I can't think of any deck you could buy three of and actually do okay at locals, just being honest. So I think that unless we up our structure deck game significantly in the next year or so, it's gonna be a big struggle to get new people back into this game because it's like you're fighting an uphill battle. You want new people in the game, but the initial investment is so high and requires so much knowledge of the game that you've almost excluded them immediately. So hopefully we can actually fix that in the next couple of months with the next couple of deck releases. Maybe Konami won't, maybe they will, I sincerely hope they do. Because I remember that thrill as a kid of, you know, asking for a structure deck or a starter deck. I started with the starter Yugi Evolution deck, right? The second wave of structure decks that came out, of starter decks that came out. So I'm hoping that we can actually get back to a place where there is a place for structure deck based Yu-Gi-Oh! where there is a place for structure decks to actually come in and be somewhat relevant. Maybe not completely tier 1, but at least, you know, solid rogue tier decks. Something like that. Hopefully we'll get that. But let me know down in the comments what you think of my structure deck rant, whether you agree with me or disagree with me. Do you think structure decks are a good point of entry for new players into the game? Or do you think they should be a good point of entry for new players into the game? Let me know what you think. If you liked the video, leave a like, and as always, subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! updates. Thanks everyone, see you next time.